Belinda lived in a little white house, with a little black kitten, and a little grey mouse, and a little yellow dog, and a little red wagon, and a Relio, true Leo, little pet dragon. The Tale of Custard, the Dragon A poem by Ogden Nash Belinda lived in a little white house. She had four pets. A black kitten, a grey mouse, a yellow dog, and a dragon. A real, true, dragon. And also, a red wagon. What is a wagon? It is a vehicle used to transport goods. Belinda had a toy wagon. Did you notice, that this poem has rhyming, and musical sense? Such poems are, ballad. They tell a story, and were traditionally accompanied with music. Now the name of the little black kitten, was Ink, and the little grey mouse, she called him Blink. And the little yellow dog, was sharp as mustard, but the dragon was a coward, and she called him Custard. In this stanza, their names are told. The kitten was black, so she called her, Ink. The mouse was small, so she called him, Blink. The dog was yellow, so she called him, Mustard. Mustard is a yellow colored sauce. So, the dog was named Mustard. And the dragon, was named, Custard. Now why was he named Custard? Probably, the poet gave this name, to rhyme it with Mustard. He was a coward. Means, he had no courage. That is ironic. Because, dragons are known to be courageous. Custard the dragon, had big sharp teeth, and spikes on top of him, and scales underneath, mouth like a fireplace, chimney for a nose, and Relio, true Leo, Daggers on his toes. The dragon had big sharp teeth. On the top of him were spikes. Below him were scales. Spikes, pointy surfaces. Scales, protective plates. His mouth is compared to a fireplace. Because, dragons are known to release fire from their mouth. And the nose is compared to a chimney. Because dragons release smoke from nose, just like chimneys. And his toes, are compared to daggers. Dagger, a sharp knife meant for stabbing. Means, his toes were sharp, just like daggers. Belinda was as brave, as a barrel full of bears, and ink and blink, chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave, as a tiger in a rage, but Custard cried, for a nice safe cage. Belinda was as brave, as a barrel full of bears. The poet is making this comparison, to show that Belinda was very brave. Ink and Blink chased the lions. Means, they were even braver than lions. And Mustard, the dog, was as brave, as a tiger in rage. Means, he was as brave, as a tiger in anger. In short, the poet is telling, that Belinda, Ink, Blink, and Mustard, all were very brave. But Custard, cried for a nice safe cage. Means, Custard, the dragon, was a coward. Belinda tickled him, she tickled him unmerciful, Ink Blink and Mustard, they rudely called him Percival, they all sat laughing, in the little red wagon, at the Relio, true Leo, cowardly dragon. Belinda tickled him unmerciful, unmerciful, without pity. Ink Blink and Custard, rudely called him Percival, rudely, not politely. Why did they call him Percival? Who is Percival? Percival, is a fictionous character in a story, where he is a very brave knight. They called the dragon Percival, sarcastically, because he was not as brave, as a dragon should be. They all sat laughing at Custard, in the wagon. Belinda giggled, till she shook the house, and Blink said we ek. Which is giggling for a mouse, Ink and Mustard, rudely asked his age, when Custard cried, for a nice safe cage. When Custard cried for a cage, Belinda giggled, and Blink said weak. That is how a mouse giggles. Ink and Blink asked his age, rudely. Suddenly, suddenly, they heard a nasty sound, and Mustard growled, and they all looked around. Milk cried Ink, and Do cried Belinda, for there was a pirate, climbing in the window. Suddenly, they heard a nasty, that is, a bad sound. Mustard barked, and they all looked around to see, 
where the sound was coming from. Inc and Belinda screamed, because, there was a pirate, climbing in the window. In this stanza, window is written as Windla. Why? To make it rhyme with, Belinda. Pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right, and he held in his teeth the cutlass bright, his beard was black, one leg was wood, it was clear, that the pirate meant no good. He had pistols in his hands, and in his teeth, a bright cutlass, cutlass, sharp sword. His beard was black, and one leg was of wood. From his appearance, it was clear, that the pirate meant no good. Belinda paled, and she cried help. Help. But Mustard fled, with a terrified yelp, ink trickled down to the bottom of the household and little mouse blink, strategically mouse hold. Belinda turned pale, means, she was frightened, and cried for help. But Mustard ran with a yelp, yelp, short cry. Ink, the kitten, ran in the bottom of the house, and blink, the mouse, mouse hold. Means, he ran into his mouse hold. Sorry bravery nickel gee. But up jumped Custard, snorting like an engine, Clashed his tail, like irons in a dungeon, with a clatter and a clank, and a jangling squirm, he went at the pirate, like a robin at a worm. But Custard jumped up, making a loud sound like an engine. He moved his tail, like irons in dungeon. Means, his tail made the sound, of iron chains clanging together, in a dungeon, that is, a prison. With a clatter and a clank and a jangling squirm, means, with a sound of metallic objects, he attacked the pirate, just like a robin bird attacks a worm. The pirate gaped at Belinda's dragon and gulped some grog from his pocket flagon. He fired two bullets, but they didn't hit, and Custard gobbled him every bit. The pirate gaped at the dragon, gaped, stared with wonder. He gulped some grog from his pocket flagon. What does this mean? Gulped, swallowed quickly. Grog, an alcoholic drink. Pocket flagon, a container for liquids. Means, he swallowed an alcoholic drink from his pocket flagon. He fired two bullets, from his two pistols. Thankfully, they didn't hit Custard. And thus, Custard gobbled him. Every bit. Belinda embraced him, Mustard licked him. No one mourned for, his pirate victim. Ink and blink, ink did gyrate, around the dragon, that ate the pirate. After every bit of the pirate was eaten by Custard, everyone returned. Belinda hugged him, Mustard licked him. And, no one mourned for his pirate victim. Means, no one felt sad for the late pirate. Ink and blink, in glee, did gyrate. What does this mean? Glee, happiness. Gyrate, revolve. Ink and Blink revolved around the dragon, that ate the pirate. But presently up spoke, Little Dog Mustard, I'd have been twice as brave if I hadn't been flustered, and up spoke Ink, and up spoke Blink, we'd have been three times as brave, we think, and Custard said, I quite agree, that everybody, is braver than me. But then, they all started making excuses. They couldn't accept that they weren't brave. Mustard said, that he would have been twice as brave as Custard, if he had not been confused. Ink and Blink said, that they'd have been three times as brave. Custard agreed, that everyone was braver than him. Even after this event, he couldn't convince himself, that he was the bravest of all. Belinda still lives in her little white house, with her little black kitten and her little grey mouse, and her little yellow dog, and her little red wagon, and her Elio, true Leo, little pet dragon. Now again, the same lines as in the beginning are written. Means, even after the incident, nothing changed. Ink, Blink and Mustard still considered themselves brave, and Custard still cried for a nice safe cage. Please like and share this video. And subscribe my channel for more such videos. Please. Goodbye!